All right, guys, let's do this. So in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to min. Basically, this is a new standard on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. You can call it an upgrade on top of the BRC20, but because there are politics in Bitcoin and the developers of Bitcoin Core are attempting to prune everything BRC20. So this guy called Cyborg on Twitter, he decided to create CBRC20 tokens which is an upgrade that cannot be pruned, right? So in a nutshell, CBRC20 is the proposal of an e efficient meta protocol standard for fungible tokens on Bitcoin through ordinals. By utilizing the new metadata and the meta protocol fields introduced in ORD 0.10 plus, which allow for arbitrary properties to be stored directly within the inscription envelope. So these tokens basically keep the same functional logic of the BRC20 meta protocol while reducing the cost of each inscription and simplifying the indexing process. So in this video, I will show you how to mint because the minting has already started. And a lot of people have been going through some difficulty because the minting process was not working properly. And because this is very new, imagine getting into Bitcoin at the very, very beginning. That is if it turns out to be something huge. But at this point, the, the ordinal space is taking off. So what I'm doing personally, I'm just minting whatever I find interesting. So I find this stuff quite really cool. So if you want to mint, first you need to use Unisat wallet. I know there are so many wallets in the, um, in the ordinals space, but the one that seems to be working is Unisat wallet. So all you need to do is to go to Unisat and from the Unisat website, you can unisat.io. I'll put the links in the description as well. When you go to Unisat wallet, there you can uh, create the wallet and add it to your browser. And then after you do that, you go back to this website called cyborg.org. Link I'll put in the description as well. And then you click on the crafter. The crafter is what you use to basically mint. Now, there's another thing you, you've got to do to actually find out what's going on here. So you go to explore meta ops. And if you scroll down, you can see the CBRC20 tokens, the deploy list. We, these are tokens that have been deployed. The first one was board, which is more likely going to be the sort of the standard token on this protocol, just like Audi is the, was the first BRC20 token in this ecosystem. Board is the first one and it has been fully minted. You can see here, so don't try to mint something that has been completed. And meme is still minting, Digen still minting, Sat still minting, Junk, and, and so many others. Another way to see this is to go simply to Dune Analytics. There is Crypto Virtue who is keeping track of all these things. So he has, uh, he, this is showing that board has been minted 124%. When you see this, when it's above 100, don't mint it because it means that this has fully minted out and um, you're wasting your time if you try to mint it. All right. So once you created your wallet, I already have a tutorial on how to create the Unisat wallet on this channel. And another, uh, the next step is now what do you want to mint? So in this instance, I want to mint HODL because it looks that like it's 46% there. So it might, it's more likely to complete very soon. And I have to check how many am I allowed to mint? What is the maximum? So you can check it here, HODL, and it's showing you that 5,000 is the maximum. So I'll show you where that comes handy. So I'll go back to the crafter, okay? And also you can find that data, by the way, by simply clicking on whatever you want to mint. So if let's say I want to mint um, meme, I can just click on meme, and the data is still being propagated here, but it takes some time. That's why I like the Dune Analytics one. So for now, let's go back to the crafter and do some minting. Receive uh, receipt address. This is where you want to receive your tokens. So for me, okay, I need to put in my password here. Okay, so I will um, 
I will simply, let's see, what do I have here? I will just copy my address, boom, done. And then I'll paste it here. This is where I want to receive my tokens. And I want to mint HODL. So I'll put the ticker HODL. And the amount, how much did we say HODL allows us is 5,000. Again, you can always go back uh, here and check, or you can always go back to Dune Analytics and double check that. So let's just triple check. HODL is, is 5,000 maximum we're allowed to mint. Because if you make a mistake with these kind of things, you're just gonna burn your gas fees, and gas right now is really expensive. So the mine type I will put in, you can leave this to zero to save on gas fees, but the thing is when you have the token in your wallet, you won't be able to know which one is which. What I mean by that is this. When I go into my Unisat, I can see here it says data because I did type the mime type. I also have SIME, I also have board, which was the first one, is was because I typed here. If you put zero, you will get all these tokens inside your wallet, but you will not know which one is which. So I like to put here, pay a little bit of gas fees and go to and click on it like that. And then you click on generate transaction. And then this is the most important part. I was making a mistake where I was just, by default, it's set at fastest fee, which is the current fee on Bitcoin in the mempool. But if you click on send the meta op, it's not going to work. You will not see a screen of confirmation. So what you need to do is to click on custom and increase it by one. So right now the fastest fee is 558. Just put it at 559. And you also have an option of buying, paying 5% more, which will be given to, will be sent to Cyborg, the creator of the protocol. But in this tutorial, I will not do that because I've done that many times already. I'm making him too rich. So here you now just go to send the meta up and sign and pay for the transaction and here it says watching your transaction 03 whatever this is the transaction id below and i just have to sit and wait so i will reiterate this is not financial advice there is a very very big chance that none of this is going to work and turn into something it's basically extremely speculative so you have to be doing this while knowing that look all the money you're spending on minting this stuff might just go to zero but there's also a chance that it might become something just like a lot of us who were minting oily and sats it turns out to be hundreds of thousands of dollars from nothing so the choice is yours all right i recommend if you really want to get deep into this stuff to join my alpha group where we share early opportunities when it comes to everything crypto tokens trading derivatives Ordinals and BRC20, if you don't want to be missing out, for example, SATs, which is now a big deal in crypto, we minted SATs for free months ago, like back in May or something, April or May. And now it's a big thing. It's reaching a billion dollars in market cap. Everybody who minted in our group made so much money from it, right? And as, as, even with Bitcoin frogs, Bitcoin frogs, we bought them at $30. Now they're trading at ten thousand dollars plus so i recommend you join if you want to be successful in crypto the alpha group crypto university dot network is the website i'll also put the link in the description so you can see now hodl is showing in our wallet even though it's unconfirmed but we know that the transaction actually went through all right guys stay awesome and i'll see you soon